Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. To myself. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be an update on my project Use It Up for the springtime. I have quite a few empties and I'm really excited about it. Um, and then I'm also going to be introducing a few new things into the project because I finished off so much stuff I need to introduce some new things. But yeah, I also have some stuff to update you guys on, made some good progress. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So first I'm actually going to take a little hand cream break because I just realized how dry my hands are. This is a uh, pink pineapple sunrise while well, I already had it in front of me. Okay, so first let's start off with things that I finished in the last month. So this is basically my update for the month of April. Um, I think I'm going to end this project at the end of May and then start the summer project in June. So we have two more months of the spring project. Anyways, the first thing I finished off is a whipped a berry meringue and the hand cream. This scent was really yummy. It was almost like marshmallow cotton candy vibes, but I really liked it. Um, I think that slight like berry tint to it was like really nice, but it also wasn't overpowering. I don't know if I'd enjoy it in the body care, but I really liked it in the hand cream. I also finished off two mini body care items. The first one being Merry Christmas iced cinnamon rolls. So here's my progress lines on that one. Um, I started it out unused a month ago and then did this much in the month and then just finished it off. And um, I'm not impressed with the scent. It wasn't anything great. I would not pick it up again, but I enjoyed it while I had it. It had a slight cinnamon tinge, but honestly, it just smelled like lotion. So this was nothing special to me. The other one that I finished off is Hibiscus Paradise in the shower gel, which I did actually really love. And I'm kind of thinking of picking it up um, in the... Um, what's it called in the body scrub and like I think it's a creamy body scrub if they have it at SAS I think I will because this was a really good shower scent I don't know if I'd enjoy it in like a spray or lotion but I really liked it in the shower especially for the time that I used it like going into warmer weather I feel like this would be a great like actual summer scent so I'm definitely gonna look for it I think at SAS but um, here's my progress on that one I had it here in a month here in a month and then finish it off so Happy I finished that one off. And then I did finish off actually a creamy body scrub, which is why I was just talking about buying a new one because this is the last one that I have. And I kind of like having um, like a gentle body scrub going at the same time as like a really coarse body scrub because I'll do the gentle one like three or four times a week, but the coarse one I'll only do like once a week. Anyways, so this one, um, here's the progress lines on that. You probably can't see it, but Started out up here, did this in a month, a month, a month, and then finish it off. So I would cut it open, but these get super messy when you cut them open. So I'm just not gonna bother with it and consider this one done. But that was Sunrise Woods. Scent notes are creamy sandalwood, sweet berries, and cozy cashmere. This I think was a fall scent. I really enjoyed it year round. I think it was like a nice spa kind of scent. So I really like this one. If they come out with it again next year, that would be nice. If not, not really missing much, but I did enjoy it. And then I did finish off a full-size body lotion. So this is Strawberry Pound Cake. Now, when I started it out, it was only right here. So it really didn't take me long to use it up. But I am happy that I finished it. So I have a full-size body lotion out of my collection now. But this scent, you guys can't beat it. It's just, the hype is real on this one. It's really good. I'll probably pick up, pick up another one at SAS this year too. And then I did finish off Winter Candy Apple in the shower gel, finally. Um, here was my progress from the last month. So just went ahead and finished it off. Very happy to have this one out of my collection. Again, a full size um, shower gel out of my collection now. So that makes me feel really good. But honestly, nothing special. Um, I like the scent. I think I would pick it up again next year, but maybe only in a mini um, because it's nothing special and it comes out every single year. Um, I did like it for like winter time. It reminded me of winter because this is, you know, just the scent that they come out with every single year. But yeah, I think I would only get it in a mini next time just because I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure all of the traditional scents came out in minis this year. Pretty sure. Okay, so let's start on some stuff that I have progress on. The first being Love Cotton Candy Champagne in the hand lotion. Honestly, it's going to be done in the next week or two. I'm probably going to cut it open soon because it's going to not be spinning out anymore but um really really love this it's going strong i have strawberry pound cake in my purse i've honestly used it like once or twice so that's okay 
And then I also have Pink Pineapple Sunrise in the hand cream, and this is on my bedside table. So that's like my rotation of hand creams. Once I finish off the one that I keep at my desk at work, um, then I put the one from either my nightstand or from my purse in place of it, and that's how I keep finishing them off. So once I finish this one off though, I'll only have two left. So I might have to um, go get another hand cream soon, maybe redeem a reward for that. I think I'm getting a coupon book in soon that has the 750 uh, free item up to 750. So hopefully I can redeem it for a hand cream. The next thing I have a lot of good progress on is, and I'm gonna flip it upside down, but I've been using it this way it's because there's not a lot left. And that is whipped vanilla chiffon. Oh my God, I'm loving it so much. So here's where I started it out in the project last month and then we've made it down to here and it's pretty much almost done. I probably have another week's worth of use, but I'm really enjoying it. The scent notes are wild vanilla bean, spun sugar, and white peach blossom. It is such a good scent to transition into spring with. I've been really enjoying it. And then I also, I'll just update you on this one because I have it right here in front of me, whipped vanilla chiffon in the um, fine fragrance mist. And my goal was to get it down to the packaging line right here. And it is, if it will stop shaking, it totally is. So I made some great progress on this in the last month. I've been loving this scent. Um, here's my progress from last month to now. It is so good. Mm, I've just been loving it. It is just the perfect kind of vanilla with a little fruity twist and I've been really loving it. Next thing I have a little bit of progress on is Christmas cookies in the body cream. I don't have a lot of progress on it, but I did go from here to here. I think once I finish off the Whip Vanilla Chiffon body lotion, I'm going to focus on this heavily before it gets too hot outside and I don't want to use it anymore because it is like very yellow now. Um, you can see it's like super vibrant yellow and it's going on almost two years old. So I really want to finish it off before it goes bad. Um, it's not staining my skin or anything yet, so it's still good. I just really need to work on finishing it up. The next thing I have some progress on is the Mary Kay Winter Wishes perfume. So if you will notice, let me go ahead and mark my line. This is weird because I didn't get a lot of progress on it. And now that I'm looking at it, here's my lines. But I definitely use it every single day. I don't think I put it on yet today, so let me go ahead and use it. But yeah, I definitely have been using it every single day. And I thought when I use rollerballs every single day for a month that I definitely get more progress than this, but I don't I don't know, that's weird. So hmm. anyways, I will keep working on this though. I do love the scent. It's really great. I would say it's not just a winter perfume, but this is from like 2016. So I want to use it before it goes bad because it might even be from 2014. Ooh, it's really old, so I need to finish this up. Okay, going into Fine Fragrance Mist, the first I have is Warm and Cozy from Pink. I know I said I'd finish it by the next update of the project, but I didn't finish it. I do still have this much left, um, but I did use it a lot from there to now, but I think it's because I was using both of these ones super heavy, super heavily, um, that I didn't finish this one yet, but I will definitely have it finished up before the, the next update. I love it. It is so yummy. So... This one will be done soon. And then I have updates on Champagne Toast. I also want to get this one down to um, this packaging line right here. Here's my progress in the last month. Even though I was using the other two heavily, I still got some progress on this one, which is good. So I think I'm still going to focus on those two and this one at the same time. Um, and hopefully I can get down to here as well. Okay, the next one that I have is Twinkling Nights. Now this one I did not get a lot of use out of, but that's okay because this is a very specific scent that I use for like date nights, going out. Like I don't wear this every day. It's very perfume heavy. Um, I think that's the Jasmine petals, honestly. But <laughs> here's my progress. I did not do a lot. I probably only used it last night. Um, Ryan and I went on a date night and that was probably the last time I used this. So it's not gonna get used a lot, but I do wanna keep it in just to like keep using it, keep if I'm reaching for a perfumey kind of spray, then it's gonna be this one. So not a lot of progress, but I'm not actually kind of mad about that, so. And then the last thing that I have to update you guys on is the Onyx Bathhouse Dim Buns Dough Foaming Body Scrub. I just went back and watched my last update and I believe I was right up to here on the packaging. And now I am about right here. So you can see in there, I've used quite a bit and yeah. We're gonna keep going on this one, but this one will be the only one in my shower for now. I'm not gonna replace the foaming body scrub because I don't have any other 
gentle body scrubs to replace it with. So this one's gonna be the only one, so it should be getting a lot more use. And then some things to update you guys on. So I finished off all of the shower gels that I had in the project. So I'm gonna be putting two new ones in. The first one being Strawberry Pound Cake in the Moisturizing Body Wash. This one I believe is from 2020. Um, so it's a little older, yeah, 2020. So this one has the sticker still on it and the little zero at the end. That's how you can tell what year it's from. Um, but yeah, this one's a little older, so I probably should finish it up. Um, but I'm also kind of craving strawberry pound cake, so it works. But here's where I'm at right now. I just kind of guesstimated based on feeling the packaging. I don't have a scale with me anymore. Um, the scale that I used to use was at my mom's house that she used to ship packages. So I don't have a scale anymore. So I'm just like guesstimating and it's pretty much right here. That's what I'm feeling. Um, but I have been using this for the past couple of days in the shower, just testing it out, making sure I wanted to actually use it. And I really do love it. So gonna be putting this one in and I don't imagine it will take me too long to use it up, maybe two months. I, I hope I can finish this up before the summer project starts, so. The next one I have is Raspberry Jam Donut in the shower gel. I'm so excited to incorporate this one. I've heard so many good things about this, but honestly, I don't think I've ever used it. I have it in the shower gel and the body cream, which I almost considered putting in the body cream, but I really need to focus on Christmas cookies because it's about to go bad. But I picked up this one and the body cream, I believe at the summer SAS. Um, yeah, I think so. But the scent notes are wild raspberry jam, powdered sugar, and warm fluffy donut. It smells so good. But I have to say, it's not the strongest in the shower. Uh, strawberry pound cake is much stronger in the shower than this one is. I could almost barely smell it when I used it for like two days yesterday and today. So I don't know. I can't really smell it too much, but it does still smell good when I do smell it. But here's where it's at right now, and I'm going to focus on using this one up as well. And then to pair with it for a body lotion, I am going to put in Merry Christmas Raspberry Sugar. I feel like Raspberry Sugar is going to go really well with Raspberry Jam Donut, and these two are going to be nice together. Um, I just want to put in a mini body lotion because I'll probably finish this one up in the next couple of weeks and then focus heavily on Christmas cookies and then this one every now and then when I want to use it. So hoping I can finish it off soon, probably before the summer project, but maybe not in a month just yet. So we shall see on that one, but yeah. Well, that is everything for the update. Um, I think I'm making some great progress on things that I had just like already used, but put back in my collection. So let me know down below what you're using right now for the spring transitional period. I know some people are still getting snow, I'm so sorry about that, but here in Houston, it is like 70s, 80s, like I'm going outside and I'm sweating every day. So I'm ready for spring scents and that kind of reflects in all the items that I chose. But yeah, that is everything for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!